EUScreen is a network of content partners across Europe uh, and they contribute uh, archive material to uh, a website and the website is called EUScreen. Uh, and EUScreen uh, makes it available uh, not only on its own website but also provides access to collections on uh, Europeana which is the pan-European collection of uh, uh, heritage uh, content. If you look at uh, uh, more general at uh, what types of organizations look after audiovisual heritage, uh, that it's quite um, uh, varied. So there are broadcast uh, broadcasters with archives, and there are uh, libraries with audiovisual collections, um, and uh, there are amateur uh, film collections, etc. And so, uh, but Nina and uh, Ina and also the institute I, I work for have a mandate that is very specific uh, on looking after audiovisual collections. So they are not a production entity, but rather they are, you know, their mandate is to be this uh, uh, audiovisual archive. And so, in working with the partners, it needed. It really de uh, depends. Uh, so, for instance, broadcast archives in uh, in many cases own uh, the copyright to the material. So, for them, in uh, for certain material, it's easier for them to make them available online. Uh, for uh, you know, like Nina and Sound Vision and Ina, we always have to uh, say negotiate or ask permission with copyright holders. So that's probably one of the uh, bigger uh, the bigger. Um, uh, differences. Another would be that uh, um, in broadcast archives, uh, for instance, uh, uh, production is is um, is still uh, valued more than 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 the archive department, right? So, but when you are an entity that is only uh, focused on being an audiovisual archive, uh, that also has some uh, some implications. And so, in, for instance, in uh, selecting material um, and also in uh, working with, uh, again with partners. So uh, over the past uh, decades, uh, more and more, uh, more and more uh, material has been uh, digitized, and it's now finding its way uh, online. I think all of our, our partners uh, have some some way of uh, uh, providing online access to their content. So what we are doing now is to take the next step, you know, to uh, make it meaningful, uh, to uh, offer our um, collections in a meaningful context. Uh, and that's, I think, why also the the topic of of uh, today and tomorrow, uh, you know, focusing on curation is key. Um, because this is for many the, the next steps. We have the content now uh, digitized and online and now how are we going to be reaching out to the users in a meaningful way.